Not rifting really, but this is a bounty part of the season journey. This is a uh, different character that I haven't really played up with. This is, I, I believe, the Road to Kanai's Cube, which is a seasonal mission for your characters. This is my Crusader. And he... Oh! Just ran into someone interesting I've never seen before. But... Here comes the fun. Trying to find this as part of the season uh, 17 mission I got to do. Uh, otherwise, I'm never going to get off chapter 2 of it. It's an interesting little system they've got set up. I, I do like season. It's um, it's one of the things that keeps the game interesting after so many years of it being out there with uh, well, a few minor tweaks that they've had since the beginning of it. But um, I do like Season as a way to get new things, uh, better equipment, random gear, in some cases. I require more right. Ooh. So, one of the things I hate about the session room, uh, Landscape is there's so many people come out and get you. But this is, um, I'll be returning with Necro Ted and uh, more fighting games later, you know, Monday Night Fights and all that. Um, also, taking requests as to uh, some games that uh, I can play, I could be playing later. I've got uh, a bunch of Resident Evils, including the Re Resident Evil 2 remake. Um, Got a couple of racing games, a few fighting games, Deadpool and the Fractured Butthole from the South Park titles. I just picked up not too long ago. So, you know, always taking suggestions for games, always taking criticisms. Please don't be mean. But, you know, if you got a legitimate beef, that's fine. Or if you got a legitimate concern or suggestion, great. I know I'm bald, I know I'm ugly, I know I'm fat. So, uh, that's... I don't care. I honestly could give a tin shit about my personal appearance as viewed through somebody else's eyes. I look fine. Uh, I look better than this asshole, anyway. Yeah, hold these. Hey, Desecrator! Yes, he humps your corpse after he kills you. I got it. So, yeah, uh, Kanai's Cube, I, I like the, the thought of that. It really helps you free up your inventory, but still keep uh, better and more um, effective powers for your, for your character. Poor boy is getting whooped. Patience. And he turns to ice and shatters. He must be fun at parties. Or at least helpful because, you know, you run out of ice. There he is. Just kill him. So, you know, not a lot of benefit for him, but the party just keeps going. enough right yeah stay right there stay right there yeah oh no he gets hit <laughs> oh Correct your family excuse me while I drop nine tons on you Ooh. Anybody feel like a Pit in the Pendulum movie? <sighs> Roger Corman. Now that was a good movie. It was back when he was trying. It was back when Roger Corman was trying to get away from his reputation as just being the 
exploited uh, big boob woman movie maker. But he did a, I think he did a good job with the Edgar Allan Poe st uh, stories he did. And he did The Pit and the Pendulum, he did uh, The Raven, which was my distant, distant cousin uh, Vincent Price and Peter Lorre, two very good, uh, very good classic, classically trained actors, really. And yes, a distant, distant cousin. <laughs> Not Peter Lorre, although the eyes can tell you different. Get up. Get up, boys. And I throw that shield anymore, I'm going to start looking like Captain America. Sorry, Chris Pine. I mean, imagine this, Chris Pine, but everywhere. Yeah, he really wants to really be remembered for being the, hu the first human torch to actually make it to the cinema. Again, Roger Corman. My wrath is low. My wrath is low. What does that mean? You feeling mellow? Speaking of which, Roman Vanilla Coke today. I've been giving serious thoughts to changing this the the somewhat titled program from gaming from bed to gaming while drunk. But screw it. If I'm going to do that, I might as well play racing games. That way you can see what drinking and driving does. Although the Need for Speed series, that could be seen as a benefit rather than a de detriment. Yeah, I'm already starting to slur my words and I'm half a drink in. That is what I have trained for. All right, let's see what we got here. I got nothing I can use. Wow, nothing I can use. Well, let's see what she can use. Anything, anything? Bueller? Bueller? Uh, that would be a no. But, anyway, back to the search for the cube. Before anybody says anything, no, it's, I'm not going to turn to Shia LaBeouf looking for the cube. The one thing, Peter Cullen isn't here. That's right, I know his name. Peter Cullen, the voice of Optimus Prime. Pretty much one of the be one of the only two or three voices for Optimus Prime that they did in film, theater, and movies. Although I don't know about theater because I really haven't seen a Transformers the musical. Although we are getting a Jurassic Park cartoon. Love that thought. <laughs> Jurassic World, yeah, a great thing for Saturday morning or Cartoon Network is, you know, dinosaurs going going rogue and eating people. I thought Teen Titans Go was bad. I know there are people who like it, no offense to them. But once you go once you see once you sit through two seasons of, of Young Justice, you just can't go back to Teen Titans Go. It's just, you know, it's... It's the difference between salvia and actual marijuana. Uh, <laughs> one will drive you crazy. And it ain't the weed. Um, yeah, I'm in a manic phase. I'm starting to go into a manic phase. I'm having some interesting... I'm having a day. I'm having a day, so I decided to come in, kill a bunch of pe of uh, pixelated people, and try to feel better about myself. I know it's a lost cause, but hey, I can dream. No way I can feel better about myself. Gets out those negative feelings that I've been in counseling for. The one that makes everybody afraid. Find it interesting. I was I 
had a day so far today where I've got nothing but bad news and feel like nothing but laying in my bed and waiting for the waiting for the sweet embrace of death. But I made a promise that I wasn't going to do that to my late wife, who I miss amazingly. Every damn day. So, I am going to get out my frustrations and my homicidal urges by playing violent video games. Yay, violent video games. So. Watch this. One button. But, yeah, I... Uh, Chief Elder Kanai was the best of us. He could have been the next immortal king. None have come close to bringing the tribes together since Waras. But Kanai wow. could have been the one to change that with his indomitable spirit. Though as strong as three warriors, his true strength lay in his compassion. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his ass when he hopped either. I know, cynical. But that's my day. I respond to how I feel, and right now I feel pretty darn cynical. I also feel like killing these goat men left, right, and sideways, so there is that. I'm sorry, you're dead. Don't care. Not like you were ever real, you know? Oh, stuff. Yep. Throw my shield! I should have changed this character's name to Steve Rogers. Hold this. Oh, I throw this shield too many more times than I'm gonna be I'm gonna be signed up for the Avengers. But I wonder. Not Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is is pretty damn cool in my eyes. But Tony Stark makes me wonder if I throw this shield anymore, will Tony Stark turn into a whiny little bitch for me, too? Oh, <gasps> yes, I did. Watch Captain America Civil War. Yeah. Yes, Tony Stark turns into a whiny little mama's boy bitch. Yeah. Gee, this guy killed my mommy while he was under somebody else's control. Must be his fault. I don't care. I honestly could not care about that. I mean... Yeah, like nobody's ever done anything under duress. No, Tony Stark, whiny boy, mama's bitch. Uh, and that's, that's what got me, it was his mother. It wasn't even his whole family, it was, you know, his father was right there getting slaughtered by the Winter Soldier, but it was mom. I guess Howard Stark didn't mean dick to Tony. Again, not Robert Downey Jr., the people who wrote that dreck. Without Tony, and I mean, granted, Tony Stark was not exactly a role model to begin with. He was a raging alcoholic with mama issues and daddy issues. Oh my God, the daddy issues! Daddy didn't love me enough. My dad hated me. Honestly, my dad hated me. And you know what? I don't care, cause he's dead. I got no complaints. Not exactly what you were hoping to see, was it? No. <laughs> Ooh, Archon Sash. That doesn't, doesn't do much for me. So, uh, okay, that's enough about my personal life. I re you, you don't need to hear this. You don't want to hear this. You're probably already sitting there going, Why the hell is he talking about this? I don't want to know. I just want to see him play the game. Okay, let's get back to the game then. Sorry about that, but I had to vent. Venting is over. Let's get back to the game and these ugly freaking goat men. I did raise the difficulty for this for, for this game only because I was getting pretty tired with the easy kills I was getting with 
with him on the lower level. I mean, every so often you got to look at yourself, reevaluate yourself, and say, "Yeah, I can go up. <laughs> Let's go up a level." And in this case, it's uh, I think every five every five levels uh, go up. At least that's the way I've been doing it. Every five levels go up one le go up one level of difficulty. So it's the best way to level your character quick. It's the be it's you know it keeps the game challenging, keeps the game interesting. Come on! Wow, this guy just keeps coming. Okay, ghosty guy. Doesn't he ain't gonna do nothing. Ghosty guys, they just watch. It's like, it's like, it's. I guess it's like porn to them. They just want to watch. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick, wouldn't it? <laughs> monster porn. What do you do? Well, we mostly just like hang around and watch watch our friends die. <laughs> All right, we're monsters. Don't judge. My rock is low. Yeah. Tell your friends, though. I, you know, I don't mind. I like a, I like a big audience. <laughs> Some people would say that's kind of kinky. So would I. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do like a big audience. <laughs> he just likes to show off. <laughs> uh, if I were truly showing off, I'd be naked. But anyway, yeah, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. Some of this is not safe for works, but hold on, kids. Buckle up. It's going to get a lot weirder. See, at least I'm not being poli- I'm, At least I'm not being political. Ice Clan Shaman. Here he comes, shielding up. Shielding up Captain America. Which is ironic, I was actually looking at a um, an online article about Diablo. About Diablo 3 builds. And one of them did have a Captain America build for this exact character class. And I'm thinking to my, and I started thinking to myself, yeah, isn't that redundant? <laughs> he throws his shield, he does his flips. And does all this stuff, isn't he Steve Rogers already? We showed Bale and his army what it meant to fight true warriors. But when Kanai Ooh, was killed, hold on. it froze the spirits of our bloodied ranks. That was when the battle was lost, for he was truly our king. Yeah, I can see where that would be demoralizing to any kind of troop activity. Not ready yet. Not enough round. Oh, I think now that I'm thinking about it, that might be actually a fun thing to do, just get completely rip roaring drunk and start playing um Need for Speed. See how well I can deal with the cops. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Well, if I did actually, if I was going to do that game, I'd have to get my my PS2 out here, and that would be a pain in the ass. Because I really can't broadcast from a PS2 now, can low. I? <laughs> Although it'd be funny as hell. <laughs> I do have um, payback. Need for speed payback. Um, not the best. Uh, it's, it's okay. The graphics are great. The, the gameplay is fine and all that. And I love the random cars they throw out. But there are just times when it just, it's just, you know, you can slow it down to 45 and have a nice relaxing drive in the country. <laughs> There's sometimes such a thing as too much of an open world. Um... I mean, granted, it was. I think, honestly, I think open world concept for games was done perfectly in the Need for Speed, in not Need for Speed, but um, the uh, Grand Theft Auto series, especially. And I think, honestly, again, I think that I think that series could have been four. I mean, you got um, you got Axel Rose as a as a freaking radio jock. Uh, Will Wheaton, uh, Will Wheaton reporting on child actors. Being a, what was he said, a oftentimes sexually ambiguous lot full of drugs. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? Are you speaking from personal experience there, Quill Wheaton? Yeah, I said it. Quill Wheaton. 
<laughs> oh no, it's Will Wheaton. And he's got cool whip. Now, no offense to Will Wheaton, he's pretty cool. He's, from what I've seen, Will Wheaton seems like a pretty cool guy. Um, you know, knowledgeable about what he's got. He's got his geek podcast, I like that. I've listened to a couple episodes. He's he's really got a hand. He's, I think he's got a handle on on uh, current. I don't know if they call it pop culture, geek culture, but he seems to you know he seems to got his hand on on, um, on what's going on with that uh, with that particular subgroup of, of uh, society. The and before you say pass. anything, subgroup is it not a dirty wrong. word. It's just a, it's just an area it exploded. And took our souls with it. Well, Many of our blame material number were lost that day to madness and worse. They are the unclean. Where are they getting money? This is what I. This is one of the things that always. Always kind of made me laugh about this series. Is you get things like, um, oh, you got these Yeti corpses. Look at all the stuff they got. They're they're not going to use it, really. They don't use this stuff. So why do they got it? Is it something they're coughing it up from from you know travelers they've eaten, or is it something that? Okay, this is where I should be able to put Elder Sanctum. Yeah, this is where I should be able to find Kenai's cube. Which is a requisite for getting through this part of the season journey. Which is... Oh my god. I like... Again, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I like the season journey concept. It's got a lot of... Um, a lot of potential to you know, raise your character and... Um, raise, up, raise up your levels and... Uh, Get you some really nice stuff, but they also it goes beyond what you see. It goes beyond the four chapters of, of season journey. You can do all kinds of stuff that moves you along, including um, something, uh, uh, including other things that help you again level your character, get new stuff, get interesting stuff, like the wings you're seeing. Those those I actually got uh, as part of a uh, cross promotion with. I think those are the Overwatch wings. But I've also got a little uh, spaceship that I can use as opposed to my little my little four-legged friend here whose name is Gothrock. I am still looking for a name for the half-formed homunculus uh, that I've got in my... in my... Uh, Lee, Rat King. That is not a real Rat King, by the way. Real Rat Kings were a bunch of rats who'd gotten their tails... Uh, knotted together and those used to be actual problems in Europe in the Middle Ages it's one of the reasons why they had such a problem with the uh, with the Black Plague is because you'd get rat kings and the fleas which were the real cause you'd get the fleas that just, uh. because that's what they were I mean, it's just pretty much a haven for flea activity and the mites on the fleas were the ones that were carrying the bubonic plague so this concludes our history lesson for today. Uh, I don't know how I got, I don't know how I know this stuff, but I do. It's kind of like how I know. It's kind of like how I can do four-dimensional planar geometry in my head, but not know, but not know how I know this stuff. Odd when you can plot your own when you can plot the plot how much energy it would take to send your body back in time. <laughs> but you can't balance your own checkbook. That's a sad state of affairs. I can. I can do the math. I can do the Spock math, as they call it, from Star Trek uh, Voyage Home, where they have to go back in time and grab whales, which is absolutely foolish because we've spent decades in the scientific community recording whale song, especially humpbacks, because they are one of the more prolific singers of the uh, species. And if you get a chance to, honestly, if you get a chance to hear whale song, uh, humpback whale song specifically, take it. It's beautiful. It is something that will, 
it'll put you to sleep. It'll put you to sleep even if you've been sucking uh, sucking down caffeine in raw form. That's enough run. I mean, if you had literally, if you had a jar, if you had a had a uh, beaker full of just raw caffeine, whale song will put you to sleep. And I honestly, I, I honestly think it's designed to, not only to uh, attract mates uh, and all that, but uh, it, I think it is designed to help um, help aquatic creatures to be able to get the rest they so desperately need without drowning. In the case of whales and sea lions and penguins and such as that, although I don't know of many penguins that that try to sleep underwater, that would just be kind of weird. I think it's to be like low. falling asleep in the bathtub. I, I don't know. <laughs> Although, if you really think about it, being you know, it's, it's an interesting thing considering that most penguins have a gland between their their uh, eyes that converts salt water to fresh water. Don't ask me. I know. I know how I know that one. That's from the Venture Brothers. And I, I looked it up. It's true. I looked it up. There is a gland that removes the salinization out of seawater for penguins. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do that, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have. I, if science is correct, line. we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to develop one in, in, you know, over generations because rising sea levels and all that. And even that, I don't have much of a. I don't have much of a stake in that because if you really think about it, a lot of areas have drought. A lot of desert areas would be getting more rain if the sea level rises because that means more water vapor in the air. Humidity would go up. Yes, humidity would go up. And that's... Oh, that would suck ass. I know. Because <laughs> anybody with curly hair... I used to have curly hair. I used to make the joke that I looked like a dandelion. I did. I, I Before this... I, and you. Yes, you. I see you, Cat and Fox. You know. You know what I looked like when I was younger, when I actually had hair. I did. I looked like a dandelion in the middle of, sp in the middle of summer. Don't deny it. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, I'm going there. <laughs> Steve Rogers! Capitan America! Now that would be interesting. You really... That would be a really bad thing to do. Start referring to Captain America, in, in, you know, in the Spanish language. Capitan America! <laughs> Or, is it, or would it be Capitán? Capitán los Estados Unidos. <laughs> the Captain of the United States. <laughs> oh, come on. We're all part of North America. And honestly, if you really want to do it, considering... There's another little thing for for people. Um, you don't like Mexico? Here's the thing. Mexico owes... Mexico owes us a lot of money. Always has. And personally, I don't care. They're North America, too. Their success is our success, and all that. We are continental brothers. But if you really want to screw with people who don't like Mexicans, start doing that. Start doing that. Do not, you know, translate the Avengers into Spanish. <laughs> or, how about this? You really want to talk about that? Since they owe us a lot of money, and everybody, and all these conservative people are, uh, are saying we should do, you know, build the wall and all that. No, don't build the wall. You really want to, you really want to, Recoup our losses, annex them. That's right, annex Mexico. Tell them that since you know they've got so many loans that they that they that they haven't paid back yet. I'm saying yet. If they've got all these loans outstanding, don't don't build the wall. Don't separate them. Bring them into the American family. Bring them into the American family. Oh, boom! There's our workforce. Huge. I more all of our, all of our um, natural, all the natural resources. Big, big, big boom for that. Land boom for that. We won't have to. We won't have to impose tariffs on them. We won't have to build a stupid, useless wall. Annex them as part of the United States, and all of that goes away. In fact, if current financial theory is to be believed, if we annex Mexico and made them part of the United States. Our economy would go amazingly, amazingly well because of all the benefits we'd be getting, and we also wouldn't be, you know, spending money to get to give it all that stupid, all those stupid Fox talking points about how they're stealing jobs. I got, I got a, a small thing to say about people who think that Mexicans are stealing jobs from Americans. How do you steal something that's given? 
Really? If you really want to discourage that kind of thing, tax the employees. Uh, tax the employers, not the employees. They're the ones that are that are putting the money out there, so that Mexican immigrants have under the table jobs because they don't want to deal with minimum wage laws. It's not about stealing jobs. Also, these people who are yelling in, about stealing jobs, but all Mexicans are drug dealers and and prostitutes and blah, 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 blah. What kind of job do you have if you're worried about those people stealing your job? Huh? I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm getting political again. Everybody drink. Ugh. Ooh ha Ah, uh, that's why the rum is always gone. Feel like the giant brain in Futurama. What killed the dinosaurs? Me. So, um, no, I made a promise to uh, some family, to my family, and um, I do want to, uh, I do want to keep that promise. Um, a lot of you see the, the the blanket, this blanket right here. Uh, that was my wife's blanket. It is. Uh, a beautiful uh, uh, um, weighted blanket that was made by my sister-in-law and her company. She's got her own company that I promised I would I would give an endorsement to because screw it, they're worth it. It's called. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting a tag. I better call it positive. It's called Warm by the Fire. And sensory blankets, weighted blankets, throws, walking sticks, fire starters. This is my fa this is my family. This is their card. If you get a look at it. Um, they are really good people, and it's um, warm by the fire. Ckr at gmail dot com. If you really want, if you want some really good um, homemade, handmade by my sister in law, my brother in law, and my nieces. Hi Nev. Hi Jazz. Love you both. Uh, <laughs> and of course, I don't know if my nephew has anything to do with it, but he's probably working. He busts his ass as a pri as 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 a uh, corrections officer. Salute to my my boy Josh. Um, but look for Chris or Chris. I know redundant, <laughs> or as I like to call him, the coughs. <coughs> uh, for any of the, if you need like, I have a cloak that they made for uh, my wife, which was actually too big for her. And uh, it fits me lovely. It's, it's, it's heavy, it's, it's, it's soft, it's comfortable. I, I have a lot of, of uh, I have a couple of cloaks, uh, that my, one that my mother made me that was really good, but this one was Not heavy and it's fur line and in really good work. So, there's my shameless plug for the day. Anyway, back to senseless violence. Had enough. No, I haven't. I need more senseless violence. Inverted tendril. Twisted tendrils. Wow, really? <laughs> all of a sudden it becomes all become all of a sudden it becomes hentai. What else would you call twisted tendril tentacles? I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a big anime fan, but and, and I have seen my share of hentai, but wow! What is with octopus porn? I mean, I get the whole, I get, I get some, I get some parts of, 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 uh, of that kind of, of that kind of, uh, entertainment. I, I know the, the origins of, I know the origins of Gojira, and yes, it's Gojira. I've been watching that since Raymond Burr. <laughs> It was a it was a great way to um, to showcase the Japanese fear of of nuclear aggression and considering Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm not surprised. It's one of the reasons that it's one of the things that actually drew me to God, God, the Godzilla movies, or as I still call them, Gojira, because that's the original pronounce that's the original uh, name. And yes, I did see the the new Godzilla movie. And I really love all the Easter eggs. I really love all the Easter eggs. If you've seen them, look for the Easter eggs. You'll love the Easter eggs. Like um, the young, uh, the young uh, 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 scientist 
Yes, definitely great new Godzilla movie. Um, I like the fact that uh, the scientist, the young lady, uh, Asian lady scientist family is a photo of every every set of twins who played the fairy creatures that called forth Mothra. It was a lovely way to say, to thank them for, you know, their hard work and, and expertise in, in these films. And the fact that every time they were twins and absolutely lovely people is just a little bonus, I thought. Also, all kinds of little Easter eggs, like, uh, I don't know if anybody else caught this, anybody else has seen the movie caught this, but one of the, uh, one of the lead scientists that they, that they, uh, had on a, on a letterhead for their, um, for the, uh, I think it was the Monarch Project, was R. Burr, Raymond Burr, from 1956 Godzilla, where they used an oxygen destroyer to kill off Godzilla in the first movie. I mean, the first, literal first movie, Godzilla, 1950, 1958. So, a tour de force to anybody who's, who's, you know, a big, who's been a fan of the Toho movies, like me. And when I say big fan, I mean to the point where my mother actually told me, please turn off that freaking Godzilla movie. I'm tired of watching stupidity and a man in a rubber suit. Screw that! <laughs> I mean, you'll never hear me, you will never hear me talk bad about my mother again, but screw that, I liked the Toho movies. Especially when they updated them and had the Matthew Broderick version of Godzilla fight the Toho version of Godzilla and get his scaly butt whooped in less than 30 seconds. I'm sorry, but that, <laughs> that's almost like watching Brock Lesnar versus... I don't know, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> not to say that I'm not a fan of Peter Dinklage. Actually, I find Peter Dinklage to be, you know, a lot like me, a cynical son of a bitch in some, in some situations, and that's great. The years wear on us all. But, um, Only a few yeah. Still <laughs> but we have made a good account of When you find things like that, you gotta go with it. But the most vicious of the flesh eaters. To think. They were once our kin. As they long were. as even one of them still lives, we are all shame. Lost Marauders! Violent, virulent rat king! Oh, great! As if it weren't bad enough, now he's sick! <laughs> anyway. Oh, where are we? Where are we? But that cube, I need that cube to, to, to go. And I honestly think there are some parts of, se of the season mode where, where um, Blizzard Entertainment just complete season? Well, I want a billion dollar share. So. <laughs> Your best bet, destroy everything that can't be, that isn't, that is there to be destroyed. Something for you. I mean, look at this. Boom. Speed bonus. na 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 I'm a crusader. I'm so glad they got rid of Paladin. <laughs> I'm sorry, anybody that knows me knows I do not call it Paladin. They're in Paladin all the time. And yes, I did censor myself. For those of you who don't want the censored version, fucking Paladin. <laughs> I actually made a Paladin for D&D Tabletop. Yes, I'm that big of a geek. By name... I made, I, I made a paladin called Kenny McCormick just for the opportunity to say, oh my god, they killed Kenny, you bastards. And you know what? Son of a bitch lived. Son of a bitch lived. Nobody could kill Kenny the paladin. So I never got to say, oh my god, they killed Kenny. So I know who you, I know who you are. And yes, the Godzilla movie was great. Thank you again for that. Um, personally, though... Personally, though, the only complaint I had is it could have been longer. <laughs> could have been longer, and I did love the post credit scenes because I'm not going to give away spoilers because it took me back to a time when I was a kid and actually enjoyed living. I mean... 
telling tales out of school. I spent an hour and a half this morning laying in bed wishing for a heart attack to finish the job. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but I did it. And honestly... Honestly, I'd do it again. Not because I actually want to die, but because... There are days when it's better than what I've got to look forward to when I wake up. Um, I know that's not funny, and I know that's probably making you making anybody watching this going, "Wow, that that's that's dark." Yeah, it's dark, but that's my life. Um, there are certain people watching this who are probably going to get in touch with me and say, "Is there anything I can do?" And honestly, I don't know. I uh, I don't know anymore. There's honesty in broadcasting right there. I play these games to cope with the fact that I hate I hate waking up in the morning. I hate waking up in the morning and still being myself. But I guess that's why I'm in therapy. And look, there's the cube. So I'm gonna. So yeah. I, I, New spoiler warning. Yeah, I'm going to talk about my I'm going to talk about how bad things can get. I'm going to talk about how much my life is painful in a lot of ways, nice but cube. it's honest. Excellent. You and I will we'll do, do great, great things, things with this, this my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. Well, now all I gotta do, see, this is here's my um. Oh wow, I haven't even made it to chapter three, and I've already got one five things out of eleven done. Watch me, kill Arani. Oh, that ought to be fun. On Master of Horror, Caldeum's most wanted. Yeah, I just do bounties on the. On, wow, it is. It's mostly bounties. Extract a legendary power. I'm about, I'm about to do that one right now. <laughs> so, oh wait, no. Turning to town. The cube first was first. used by my Haradrim brothers in many of their most complex rituals. When its potential became clear, Look at that they face. began to fear its power. The fools. Look at this face. Look at this face right they here. Away, look at that face. Even from Is it just me or does he look like Ming the Merciless? Implement, the and I mean the, 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 um, the movie version played by Max von Sydow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I smoke dope. I watch I watch uh, Flash Gordon a bunch of times. I think Sam Jones is cool shit. That must mean I'm Ted. Well, I'm fuzzy. I'm kind of overstuffed, but nah, I don't look like a teddy bear, do I? Okay, let's see. Oh, I've got all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Um. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, it gives me break. Well, actually, first, let's go sell stuff. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, there's nothing more I want to do. Make a sandwich for you, little girl. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm turning into Marlon Brando. Hopefully, I won't start. Hopefully, I won't start eating and eating my weight in Dove bars. Why am I buying stuff? I don't need to be buying stuff. I need to be selling. That is one of the. That is pretty much the only real problem I have with this system, as opposed to the the um, the, the, the PC version of this game. Is <laughs> it's an automatic thing for me to just log on, or not not log on, but um, run to a um, a weapons dealer and just start and just start trying to sell stuff. I it's. Been a while since I actually had to specify I need to sell instead of buy. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hang on to that one. Oh, gas. I got gas. Last thing I need is Eddie Murphy standing behind me going, That's my boy! No, no. Wrong movie. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Whoops. Sold something I didn't mean to. I know. Oh, that's silly. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. Favorite big teddy bear. Why? Why does everybody love Ted so much? Honestly. Uh, no, I, I get I get the reason everybody loves Ted. It's because everybody wants to really... A lot of people want to be Ted, and that's fine. Wouldn't you love to be a magical teddy bear that comes to life and, and doesn't have to do, do much else? <laughs> oh, that's the life, isn't it? Except, of course, if you can... Except, of course, when hookers take a shit on your floor. Nobody likes that. Wee. All right, we out of here. Now let's see if we can extract some some power. Let's see which one first. Yeah, this one first. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's try these first. Because we got the cube. Extract legendary power. Well, let's see. Oh, I can't do it yet. I need the... Oh, wow. I need a lot of stuff. That's all right. That's all right. Let's see what else we can do. Upgrade rare. Oh, I can do this one. Uh, no, let's try this one. Missing core ingredients. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, uh, crud. Well, maybe I can do something about that. Maybe do something about that. But Greetings, first, Nathan. hi, how you doing? Um, yeah, I got what I needed out of that one. I need to, wait a minute, no, there is one other thing I can do. There is something else I can do. Armor, uh, Oh, I can, yes, I can definitely do this one. Um, Sovereign Ring. Boom. That's season two right there. That's chapter two of the season journey right there. See? Complete. Ha, 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 ha. Now let's see what it does. Oh, it really doesn't do much, does it? Hang on. Let's take a look and see if it does anything, really. Yeah. Let's see if she can use it. Actually, that's that's not bad. That's not bad right there. So, okay, there's that. And it's not fair. I don't sound that much like Peter Griffin. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Maybe 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 I should do my next one as Quack. Maybe I should do the next my next broadcast entirely as Quackmire. Wouldn't that be fun? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do an Nephilim Riff, what the hell? Let's see what we can do out of that. Spellbound Paradox. Everybody drink. Unleash mm. your power. This mug. Nice and stainless steel. Great guy. This is from um, Chuck Wagon Soda. Got this at the fair. State Fair not too long, uh, year before last. You br the guy's great. He's got all kinds of homemade sodas that you don't get a lot of. Birch beer, sarsaparilla, orange cream. You buy the mug, you get refills all day. Beautiful system, and the guy is such a nice guy. He's so cool. Uh, champion. All right, secondary shameless plug out of the way. Mm, giggity. Ah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, knowing Quagmire, however, he'd, if I did it as Quagmire, I'd never get away from the succubi. <laughs> what? Oh, pain mongers. Blood Clan Muller. I guess that's better than a Blood Clan Muller. He reports on you to Congress. <laughs> I know, I'm getting a lot more political than I should be right now. I'm sorry. We're going to stop politics for now. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Oh, if I get a chance, if I can even go, that is. I don't know. But, um, yeah. 
To people out there that actually know me in person, today, not a good day. You know, it's not like I have really a lot of good days these days, but today just went right to hell in a bucket. So, that's why I'm doing this today, right now. Honestly, I'm not even going with a set time. Usually I go with like, you know me, I go like an hour or so. I don't care any today. Today I'm going to play until I don't feel like playing anymore. So, strap in. This one could get long. Uh, Did you say strap in or strap on? <laughs> Why has nobody done anything about Herbert? That's that's something I always tell. <laughs> nobody does anything about Quagmire. And, you know, he's a sex offender. Yeah, that's right. He is actually... Quagmire is a, a registered sex offender. He had to when he was caught watching women in the bathroom. I never really got that. How could, who could look at whatever comes out of a human being and say, wow, that's sexy. No. <laughs> no, that's a cry for help. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm still looking at Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, great musician, innovator of his time, pervert. Per the earth. I know I'm not really one to talk considering some of the things I've done in my life, but God, I never watched any woman take a poop. I have never watched anybody relieving themselves and thought, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> but I mean, there are guys out there. There's there are people out there who have been convicted who have been convicted of sex crimes involving an automobile. I mean, don't take, don't just take my word for it. There's a lot of people out there that do agree that 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 the word tailpipe does not exactly mean that. Oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, wait a minute. I wish you could do nothing. <laughs> Give me that. Block it like a tie. Drop it like it's hurting. Captain America! Really? It wasn't him? <laughs> Here, hold this. I'm sorry, I just didn't have the time. I would like to also give a shout out to the production design of this game. There's some ugly looking things in this, game, in this game that would make more than one person run away screaming and wishing they brought the brown pants. Like this guy. <laughs> and that's why Regina rhymes with fun. Yeah, a lot of Deadpool references. <laughs> Especially since I might be playing that game next. I love that game. They got uh, uh, the trophy system that they got on the, P on the on the PlayStation Network. Really fun about it because one of the first trophies you get from uh, Deadpool is the first one's free, which they literally literally give you an achievement award for turning the game on successfully. And then they give you one called the second one's free also, which is a reward for turning the game for turning the game on successfully. And I mean, yeah, it sounds like a cop out, but honestly, it's can you get any more Deadpool than that? Not unless you know you're at, unless you're you know, like me and you're actually talking to a camera. <laughs> That's right, I'm exposing you, Ryan Reynolds. Not like you wouldn't do it yourself, but hey. <laughs> we can't all be <laughs> I will get through this joke uh, <laughs> it's not like Ryan Reynolds wouldn't expose himself at, by himself but we can't all be Hugh Jackman now can we <laughs> that's right got them both uh, is, between everybody here is that not like the best Hollywood feud ever Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman like you expect one day they're just gonna come out and just you know you know we're gonna abandon all pretexts we're kissing we're all 
I love this man and he loves me. <laughs> and I mean, wouldn't that, honestly, that would be the perfect thing to happen in June. <laughs> It's Pride Month. Let's have some pride for Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman and a possibly budding romance that they may be keeping hidden just because. Actually, not... Okay, not romance. Bromance. With the B, the bromance. And quite frankly, it's hilarious. <laughs> Especially after Deadpool 2 and the, and the, and the post credit scenes. Where he keeps... Pumping lead into himself. I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, are you trying to tell something? <laughs> Please, sir. I want some more. Go get him. No pinder. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just. I'll make a. I'll make a. Um. I don't know. Maybe a warrior monk character named No Pinder. Put him in a yellow cab suit. Yeah, you kind of killed him, no pinder. <laughs> of course, if I did that, I'd have to make the female equivalent to look like Vanessa, and damn. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. She married her co-star from Gotham. That woman is hot! So, yeah, um... Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your side arms, your candy, whatever you want to do. Tell them I'm here. Tell them I'm here. I'm going to be here until I feel like I don't want to be here anymore, at which point I'll turn off the game and say goodnight. But right now, I don't. I don't want to turn it off because I got nothing else on my head today because I, if I do put something else on my head, it's going to hurt. It's going to make me go nuts, and I don't want to do that. So, we Come here, you little squirt. Make me go, Joseph Montana, on your ass. The march, the little guy hasn't even done anything yet. Ow! Stop that! <laughs> Come here! Ow! Oop! We gotta move! We gotta move! We gotta move! He's molten! <laughs> Blight Vile Tongue. Who comes up with these names? I mean, I've seen other names. I did see... I did see Zool. Which leads me to believe that... <laughs> whoever's programming these names has got a lot of time on their hand as well. And I say hand because... I know a lot of these. I know a lot of programmers and a lot of programmers don't have time for a relationship with anybody but Mary Palm, and I'm sorry about that. I'm not saying all, and I'm not even saying it's by choice. I'm just saying it's it's a demanding job. It's a demanding job, and a lot of these people do not have a lot of time to go out and get a personal, to get uh, an interpersonal relationship, and that's kind of sad. Uh, these are the jokes, folks. They can't all be they can't all be wonderful. Do 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 do. Ah. Oh, let's see. What we got. Oh, we got Paragon points to spend. We got a lot of Paragon points to spend. Ah. Maximum wrath action. Got one here. Put that here. Yeah, I haven't even... Oh, oh. Okay, I'll do a fine gold. And... Resistance gets up. Okay, I keep forgetting I have Paragon Points, which is interesting because it's like one step above your normal levels, but two steps down from actually controlling your own destiny. I don't know. That's kind of sad. One level of this, and I can't... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm in the wrong area to go to where I need to go. Uh, yeah. 
Maybe I should call. <laughs> Maybe I should call that other that other pet of mine, the the the, the golem thing. Maybe I should call that Tom Tom, because I'm always getting lost. Or Garmin. <laughs> I shall call him Garmin. <laughs> Ain't gonna do you a lot of good because all you gotta do is tell you where you're not. <laughs> what is your name, boy? Thomas. Thomas. Uh, I'm your father. I am Thomas, son of Thomas. Your name is Tom Tom. I get it. Okay, it's a funny joke. Money. Lacunae. Remember when they were just cat people? <laughs> I remember in the set in uh, Diablo 2 when they introduced these things. It was like, what the hell are these things with the spirit guys? No. And then come to find out, you can. Come to find out you can beat him with a saucer of milk. Get some yip. Uh, that'd be a fun that'd be a fun weapon to have against Lacuna, the staff of catnip. <laughs> it charms them and makes them fight for your size. Every once in a while you gotta reissue the staff or they or they sober up. Carton of milk. <laughs> and I mean real milk, not just soy crap. Show me how to milk an almond. Really. <laughs> Show me where on an almond you're gonna find a breast. If you can do that, <laughs> you deserve you deserve a Nobel Prize in animal husbandry, honestly. Because you've just proved that a nut is a mammal. <laughs> Although there are certain circumstances. I know a couple of nuts who are mammals. I'm one of them. <laughs> I know it's not politically correct, but I'm talking about myself. <laughs> oh, why is politically correct a bad thing? Oh, yeah, because it used to be called consideration for others' feelings. And we labeled it bad. I mean, I literally, literally looking at a thread today about uh, a, a law enforcement official has been has been arrested because he wouldn't go into a shooting situation. Isn't that his job? I mean, granted, I'm not a, you know, I'm really not a big fan of putting myself in bodily harm's way, but again, that's kind of literally his job description. <laughs> And I'm seeing these people you know, on the story. You know, they posted the face. They posted the story to Facebook. That's where I read it because you know I'm too lazy to turn on television. Um, but I'm seeing people saying, "Good for him. He shouldn't have to risk his his life over some snot-nosed kids." Of course, these are the same people who say abortion is wrong and murderous. So, I'm like, what is what is the limit? Granted, I'm not going to tell these people how to think. I'm not going to tell them the how to believe. Whatever. You don't want to do it? Fine. Whatever. You don't want to believe. You don't want to believe in the sanctity of, of of bodily autonomy in some women. Fine. That's your belief, depending on your religion. I don't care. However, these aren't fetuses. These are high school students, and people are literally defending somebody's somebody a, a law enforcement officer's a official decision to let him die because he didn't want to go in so uh, tell me what life you you're defending granted again it sounds kind of political this is this is a legitimate thought that I had reading people defending a man's cowardice I don't want to go in there and get killed. Well, then don't be a cop. That's like saying you want to be a soldier, but you don't want to work in a motor pool, you know? I'm sure your drill instructor would be just just thrilled to say, I don't feel like going ten mile on a 10-mile hike today in full Alice pack with weapon. I'm sure your drill instructor would say, Oh, would you like to stay home? Would you rather stay home and watch a movie? Will Netflix and chill? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I've got a couple of veterans on here who, who look me in the face and say, What? 
<laughs> he refused to do his job, and now people are saying he shouldn't have to? I would honestly have loved to- I'd love to be a fly on that wall. <laughs> I don't want to go! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everybody in the draft said that too, but guess what? <laughs> <laughs> They're not David Tennant. It doesn't make them sound poignant. <laughs> yes, I did make that reference. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> Nobody wanted you to go, Dave. <laughs> we loved you. <laughs> Matt was cool and all that, but he wasn't you. <laughs> and as much as I like Matt Smith, I'd rather there are two doctors I'd rather have back: Tom Baker and David Tennant. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy I did enjoy the others. Sylvester McCoy was funny as hell. Peter Davidson, uh, Peter Davidson had these moments where you honestly expected him to start crying. <laughs> Not because he wasn't a good doctor, but because he played him so neurotic, you know? I mean, I think the only one who had a harder time playing the doctor was Colin Baker, and Colin Baker didn't get a fair shot to begin with. And if anybody wants to pass this video along to Colin Baker, you are more than more than welcome to. I believe he is on Twitter. <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's another thing. There's a wormhole, arcane, head hands, vortex, reflex damage. In other words, you are going to have to do something mir miraculous to kill this mother. Oh, I've unlocked something. Oh, they gave me so many bosses. And that. Whoa. Yeah, here's an idea, let's just stick down here. Make your piece quicker. And not only that, but there are so many ways that they're trying to screw over me. Here, let's move him over here. Let's move him right in the middle of 16 other guys, yeah. Makes it challenging, I'm sure. I'm going over here. Oh yeah, none of the work right. We're gonna kill you after he's dead. Ah! Yeah, it's a Paragon portrait. Because I'm up to 30. Well, how'd I get here? <laughs> oh, yeah, Mormhole and Vortex and 800 little powers because, you know, I've only got these. <laughs> but, my own fault, I up the difficulty. Uh. No, you don't get to walk away. Come here. Don't run, you'll die tired. See? I'm glad you think so, honey. To me, it was tiring. I was thrilling better. You're 1,500 years old. The youth drilling is getting a new a new flavor of, of Bosco. I know it's a dated reference. <laughs> Nobody drinks Bosco anymore. I don't even know if Bosco is still a thing. Uh, I'm almost 50. What do you want? Yep, the old guy games are new. Boom! Excuse me, I dropped some space rocks on your face. Had enough. No! They have it. Keep killing. Let's get that big old bonus. I'm actually kind of interested to see if there's a possibility that you can get a 200 kill uh uh, uh, bonus. What that would be. I've seen a hundred. The Rift Guardian is here. 
Oh good, the Rift Guardian has shown up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Doing it. Rhyme! I guess reason ain't gonna be around. What's the reason? <laughs> the reason is you're in my space and killing things. Oh no, I haven't got that yet. But I've got these guys! See how you like it. I you like that. One shot, one kill on the little buddies he already drugged up. Oh, he's done. <laughs> I'm killing him without even trying. Look at that. Just hit him with the shield. Hit him with the shield. Captain America, Hail Hydra. Yeah, was that not the biggest, the lamest thing they ever did? Oh, no, he's Hydra. No, he's not, but he is, but he isn't. It's the Red Skull. Yay, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh, two-handed mace. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Ah! Speak to Auric in town. Hi, Auric. Your trial is complete. But was I guilty? Was I innocent? Riftomania. Well, let me tell you something, old Riftomaniacs. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Wow, there's a dated reference. We're going to talk about Hulk Hogan. While we're at it. Uh, ooh, I got a couple of things. Oh, nice. Let's see what we got here. I know what that is. Oh, I know what that is indeed. Demolition Harpoon. Siege Brand. I got another one here. I think I, I thought I had another one here. Nope, there it is. Let's see what you are. Oh, I got two. Oh, no. Schaefer's hammer. Well, we're going to be doing with this. We're going to be going with the butcher here, but we're going to put Fulminator back. Put him in here, too, because I might be able to use that. Before we go too much more. Ah. How crapulent. Yep, okay. Let's see if she can use any of this stuff. She cannot use most of it. Yeah, nothing really interesting there. So, what was I doing? We're going to switch to Butcher's Carver. Well, that's my hunt. A new transmog! Oh, it's a lovely thing. So, let's see, what can I do, what can we do? Nothing, because I'd rather have the damage, honestly. Rather have the damage than anything else. Don't, it's, it's a personal thing, I don't care. But, you know, the higher you damage, the greater you're doing, so. Alright, let's go sell some stuff. Let's go over here, because Invader Zim has looked over, I and there I promised I'd be. In his lab. Doing stuff. Oh, that's right. That's what I need, too. I gotta do a couple of things. I'll put that back, too. <laughs> Transformers, uh... <laughs> That's right. Kind of an interesting thought, considering, you know, the Transformers, according to their own, um, backstory, have been around for millions and millions of years. They would have been around this time, and probably would have been mistaken for just big guys in armor. Which, honestly, would be... <laughs> would be funny as hell. <clears throat> What are you gonna do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was kind of the thing about the last night, wasn't it? 
And, uh, oh, wait a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's go put some stuff back, because we got to... Oof. And that's scoundrel, I think. Uh, we're gonna wait a minute before we do him. I'm trying to think what else I need here. Oh wow, yeah, I'm already on third chapter. Watch me, Aran and A. Really? Really? Watch me, Aran and A. Ugh. People have way too much time on their hands. All right, yeah. So not a lot left to do here except bounties. So let's do some bounties. Uh, we'll start with. Well, I gotta do. I gotta go get a Ronnie. So let's go kill a Ronnie. Laura. Laura, what? Do, do. This is a double shot because I've got also this guy down here for a bounty. But considering I've already, I've already done this one, so I really don't need to do the bounties in, in Act One. I should I should have started for bounties in Act Two, but this is just for a running. Uh, that season. Uh. See now, this is what I find interesting. These are supposed to be toxic lurkers. They're called spiders, but they got six legs. These are ticks. <laughs> Those are spiders. But these, if you look at them, six legs, great big, great big thorax and abdomen, tiny little head. These are ticks. Oh, uh, sorry, these are fleas, to be honest with you. Yeah, there. No, no, don't run. Don't run. You're just gonna die tired. Dude, run, 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 money, nice. Have a nice day, and please close cover for striking friends. Dip, dip, a rude. And by the way, yes, they have put out a new threat car for the Junkions if you are into collecting Transformers merchandise. I have seen it. It's kind of cool, but it's smaller than the original. I liked. I kind of like the original because good size, fit in your hand, nice. And as my mother would say, his head fit his body. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why my mother was always was always always um always sensitive about that. She would always judge by Transformers toys on how big the head was. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Not now! Sorry. Of course I got your reference. I'm a geek, remember? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I, nope, that's a dead end. So I gotta go down. Not my first time, but going down is <laughs> kind of a hobby. Uh... I know, not safe for work in the kitties. Come on, the kitties have got effects. <laughs> really, you spend a whole morning reading my book? Hell, yeah, only if Dad had left the Playboy channel scrambled. I am a 46-year-old geek. I remember feeling disappointed when it became the year 2005. Where was my where was my hoverboard, huh? Where was my rocket-powered skateboard in the year 2005? Where was my personal Autobot friend? <laughs> Granted, it's still Judd Nelson, but hey. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, that was yeah, all right. I know, I know. Judd Nelson, cheap shot for Judd Nelson, but hey, come on. What else? What other kind of shot is there on him? What are you going to do? Talk about what he's done. Nobody knows what he's done. He's been missing for 20 years. 
He showed up on Roar that suddenly Susan. I mean, it's like it's one of those things where you, you know you, you expect to expect to uh, grab a box of cereal from your local Walmart, and there he is hiding in the, hiding in the things with like. Uh, <laughs> With Paul Rubens or something. <laughs> Although Paul Rubens has been has shown up lately on um, one of my favorite new shows, What We Do in the Shadows. And I like the fact that he reprised the look from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And the fact, oh, so I'm sorry if that if I'm sorry if you've been watching that show with with um, with, with not saying spoilers for me, but I haven't really given away anything. Paul Rubens actually has been on the show a few times as the Baron. And if you have been watching along with uh, with this show, my God, that is funny! It is freaking hilarious. And even if you have, if even if you haven't, you know, been watching the show, I highly recommend watching the movie because it's honestly it's one of the most original things I've ever seen, especially in this day and age where everything is either cookie cutter uh, reboot or superhero film. Or combination of the two. How many times can we see Spider-Man origin stories? Yep. Thank you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's why I did, and that's why I apologize for taking a cheap shot at at, uh, at him. Quite fr quite frankly, I actually did. I also really liked him on uh, Suddenly Susan. Uh, he had a he, he had a really strong um, performance in that move, in that show. And anybody that doesn't remember suddenly Susan, yeah, I know I'm kind of dating myself, and it was kind of what they call a chick show. But I I don't care. It was, it was like just shoot me, just shoot me was a good show, and Laura Laura Sanji and Como was is and still freaking hot. <laughs> I, you know I I. First developed a man crush, uh, a kind of a crush on Laura Sanji and Como in the stand, believe it or not, where she was playing Randall Flagg's uh, intended. And just the way she delivered her best line, we are all dead and this is hell. Oh, iconic. I freaking conic. And I'm not talking about the, the pathetic women's uh, tag team wrestlers in the WWE right now. Yes, I think the Iconics are over are overdone and under talented. I heard that. Come here. Get them, guys. Where are my boys? Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Go get them, boys. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come here. No, you don't get to do that. Come here. Where'd he go? There he is. Come on. No. Don't let him get away. Patience. No! No! Oh! He got away! Oh! Ah! I hate that part. It's like, you know, they, they throw him at you and then throw him in the middle of 50 guys, and you're expected to chase him down, trying to run through 50 guys. I think I'm on the right path. I am. Oop, thank you. I like the fact that they've got a, a specific little guy to go and get your money for you. <laughs> it's like sending your little brother. It's like sending your little brother to the bookie. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you pay your bills. <laughs> I don't care. I've never. I don't go through a bookie anyway. Like I got enough money to bet. <laughs> 
Oh! So, tell your friends. Spread, spread me around. That sounded kind of dis- that, ca that sounded kind of sick, too. It spread me around like I'm a disease. Or jam. I would go with a jam. <laughs> would that make me boys and merry? <laughs> You know what? Come here. Come on, come on. There. Uh, nope, this is not the right way, but that's our... Well, maybe I haven't gotten all the way through it yet. And there it is, the ghoul of my dreams. Yeah, I think so. Well, you gotta, yeah, you had to run over it and they do this. In the middle of a fight, you're trying to pick up gold because, you know, right, because it, it's gold. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Thankfully, the, 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 I, like the, I like that. The pet system is really good. And in some ways, they do help you with the fight, too. So, it's, you know, it's a good all around system to have for, the, for this game. Because it frees you up to keep the fight going without having to stop and, and uh, realign your re reorient yourself to the gold and reorient yourself back into the fight and blah 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 blah. It's, it saves a lot of time and effort. Ooh. 19 kill the massacre and the massacre system. I got it. I love that too. I really do love the master system because it, it, it's good for, especially if you're power leveling other people. Yeah. But no, I, I don't worry about it. I got, I got what you, under, I got, I got your meaning. Yeah. It, and yeah, it's, it's. I mean, if you're gonna have a pet, why not have one that picks up after you? <laughs> it's almost the same thing as as what, as what I like to call the Smedley program in in uh, in Resident Evil, where. You know, you come back, the zombies you've killed are gone. And in one way, it, 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 it seems kind of ooh, kind of weird and all that, but in another way, it's, it's a lot easier because then you don't have to worry about the zombies coming, getting back up. And also, it was a, for me, it was kind of a funny little thing. It was Smedley. You see this weird little uh, either ghoul or zombie coming along behind you, picking up bodies. Never done. <laughs> Use coaster, you know. But and I'm glad. I'm also glad they carried that over to the re into the remake of Resident Evil 2, because it's, again, it's one of those things where it, you, you don't expect it to happen. You exp and realistically, the bodies would still be there. But you know, it's it's just kind of a fun little thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, look at that. I hit him so hard he, he made gloves. Is that you? Okay. Ah, we are going... Wow, way up there. Oh, wait. I feel stupid because I think I might have... I might have missed my... Missed my, um... Missed my bridge way back here. Huh. <sighs> It's a, it's a good thing this... Uh, it's also a good thing that this isn't like um, Gauntlet. I don't know how many people out there remember that old game. Uh, that Where you lived in fear of the phrase, Warrior needs food badly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we all want realism in video games where you actually have to eat to stay alive. I mean, hell, they don't even do that in the movies. Of course, in the movies, you get a six-gun that fires 153 rounds before needing to be reloaded, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come here, honey. Let me shove some rocks up your up your thorax. I'm standing on a pile of virus. That's great. Not yet. The Shadow Weaver. 
Not to be confused with her sister, the Dreamweaver. Oh. More of these fleas. Because, let's be honest, until they have eight legs, that's what they are. They are fleas. She's back! Guess what? I'm bringing my own friend. Hold that. Oh, no! She threw up on me. I guess that's what that green is. No, you're not throwing up on me again. I don't care if you're 18 feet tall and covered in tightness, tightness armor here. Hold that. Yeah, hold this too. Boom, 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 boom. That's right, I'm throwing meteors at ya. There you go. There you go. Anybody not knowing this person right here is bit in the middle of building their own house and they're doing a hell of a job, I think. It's not easy doing this stuff, especially when you're mostly alone. I can barely <laughs> Anyway, back to the game. I know a lot of people. I know. Ah! Come on! May hit you so hard your ancestors will be born dizzy. Yes, I've seen Milan. I've seen mo both of them, really. No, you're not going nowhere. You're not leaving again. You're gonna die right now. I got my whip. I killed the rock nene. Yeah, that doesn't work, does it? Watch me whip not a rock nene. No. Watch me finish my rum and drink. Greetings, Nephilim. Hi. Fallen Angel. Hey, no worries. Now then. See, I got that, but I can't use it yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I've got a whole lot of crap. Nothing that I can use, but... Let's see about you. Ha ha ha. No? Nothing really good. Oh well. well that's alright. You see, I got others. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. They will run when. Yeah, I really don't care what you gotta say, pal. <laughs> hey, I can use that. Yeah, he's good there, he's good there, he's good there. So they see us. May the battles never end. That's kind of a scary thought. <laughs> May the battles never end. You'd like to fight all the time? Ah. <laughs> huh. Huh. Let's see. I got Paragon. Yay! Critical hit damage. Yay, life regeneration. I regenerate. Oh, Does that mean at some point he's going to say, I don't want to go. Can I? Still can't. I need a lot of stuff. Convert uh, See if I can upgrade. I cannot upgrade. So... I have to, oh, that's right. I got this stuff over here, though. Salvaging. Now, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> I can. Ready to transmute. Transmute. And season four chapter. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. History of Kanai. Stopped looking for Kanai's cube. Right, finally. 
Finally what? <laughs> Look at that. It doesn't do dick. So that's my stat. Trust. Yeah, I, I honestly really don't need to hear your hear your life story there, pal. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Send it to a secret society of barbarians. The last of these the can I die. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, tempting, but I'm gonna wait. Invasion of Seshron is spit. Uh, uh, it's better. But it guards it still, and he is unlikely to give it to me. Me. But I know someone who can impress even the mighty Kanai. Do you know? Let's do some bounties now. Let's see who. Prisoner of Kamir. I thought that kill Gruul. I can kill Gruul. I know you're working hard over there. Kai. Oh, what is that? No, don't tell me. I know what it is. It's ugly, is what it is. Uh, put a red hat on that and send him to New England. Look at that nest. I mean, the size of my mouth. I need to do a lot. This is, um, the only thing I had to kill, the only thing I had to do with the, uh, for this season, this is um, coming up on new stuff. Uh, what I had to do, this, this is nothing I had to kill for the season. That's I'm just doing bounties. That is a blood nest, and yeah, it's alive. It's disgusting. I, some of the, like I was going to say, some of these uh, monsters they got in this game are just horrific. It's like they want, it's, 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 it's kind of like the game designers wanted to give you a choice between throwing up and playing the game. So they put that thing in there, the blood nest. With the great big gaping mouths and the bad comb over in the red I, I mean the <laughs> I'm sorry I had to tell some one of my friends today in Great Britain and he said what can we do to help you I said keep him <laughs> well, there's thousands of supporters standing on the sidelines of an empty of an empty parking lot I mean, granted, I've got my own set of hallucinations and delusions, but none of them involve thousands of people chanting my name. Uh, yeah, the Kunai's, uh, but if you gotta get Kunai's cube, which, um, extract powers, um, upgrade uh, rare items, all this stuff is part of season, and... Actually, it was, it, I think, personally, for me, I like doing it because you never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to find um, as far as, as as items, and then, you, you know, you upgrade them and you never know. it. That's a crapshoot right there, which is one of the... It, I like that about this game because it keeps it, it, keeps it uh, fun, playable, and honestly keeps it uh, from getting stale. I mean, you get a lot of games, especially the fighting games, once you've unlocked all the characters and all that stuff. The fighting games, they, they get a bit stale, and people turn them in all the time. I don't know how many copies of of Street Fighter and Tekken and, and, um, and, the, and the 2K18 uh, wrestling games. I have 2K18 and 19 now because, you know, we're coming up on... <laughs> we're coming up on the, uh, that special time of, of, uh, of the millennium when you get to the 20s. And that's a, that's something else. I, how many people do you think are going to go back to wearing boot suits and listening to listening to big band jazz when we hit the the roaring twenties of the twenty first century? You know. Personally, I, I think that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Start dressing like it's the the nineteen twenties. 
of course, you know, everybody's interested in legalizing marijuana. Why not? <laughs> Have a guy have a guy show up at, at Congress every day calling himself Harry Anslinger. <laughs> yeah, didn't think I knew that name, did you? This is a Harry J. Anslinger, the first drug czar of the of America, of the United States anyway. I like to believe that uh, marijuana slowed down the uh, perception of time, and it kind of does, allowing jazz musicians to squeeze in great notes into their performances. Which, according to the, the uh, propaganda of the day, <laughs> allowed jazz singers to hypnotize white women into acts of wanton carnality. And that's according to the book, Marijuana, Le uh, Weed of Evil. From 19... I believe it was 1926. Of course, that same book also did, said that marijuana caused... <laughs> caused inmates in prison to fall helplessly in love with each other. You know, it can't be the fact that they're stuck in a in a confined space with only men. For long periods of time without sexual activity. No, no, let's blame it on weed. <laughs> let's blame it on weed that prisoners way back in the day were, all, were started the no homo thing. Which I honestly have to laugh at. It's like it doesn't make it less the same. It doesn't make it less same-sex pairing if you say no homo. <laughs> it's not like you go into a restaurant, eat a steak, and refuse to pay because hey, no hunger. <laughs> no, you you had us. You performed a sex act. Big deal. <laughs> Did it feel good? If it did, why not? I don't... Nobody's gonna care. <laughs> Nobody is gonna care. It's not like somebody... It's, it's not like people are running up behind you going, You can't be gay today. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> oh. These are the weird things that go through my head during Pride Month. I mean, I'm not gay myself. I'm not gay, bisexual, pansexual, any of that. I'm not. I just have this weird feeling that people should, you know, live in equality, harmony, and... Not have to worry about that. I can. I mean, hell, there was a baby found in a department store earlier this weekend. A department store. Some, some freaking idiot abandoned their baby in in an apart in a department store. It was Target, by the way. <laughs> Uh, can't, uh, they can tell you how to go to the bathroom, but they can't... Uh, uh, humans. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Used to be a time in this country, in this, on this planet. Used to be a time on this planet when you could be who you wanted to be, not have to worry about what other people... Call you, not even wor not worry about what ha what. Uh, and granted, it was never really that good for for the LGBTQ community, but and in some pla and in certain places, England, you could actually be arrested for just being gay. I mean, look what happened to Oscar Wilde four times, four times. It got to the point, it got to the point where he just looked at him and say, "My usual room." <laughs> I, you know, don't get me wrong. Love Oscar Wilde. The man was, the man was absolutely out of his freaking gourd. But why not? But yeah, he was arrested for being gay. In fact, they call a statue. They call a statue of Oscar Wilde a cock and a frock on a rock. So I guess he had the last laugh. I'd say, I'd say he even ha he's still laughing because you know there's, right now in London they're doing they're they're doing two they're trying to do two things simultaneously they're trying to protest our president <laughs> don't we feel good about that and they're trying to do Pride Month on their own <laughs> personally I'd love to see I'd love to see Jer Derek Jacoby and, and Ian McKellen show up as their characters from Vicious wouldn't that be hilarious. 
just to hear just to hear Ian McKellen reprise my favorite line. I never know when I go too far, but I'm always so glad when I do. <laughs> I loved that show. I, again, I'm not, I'm just a supporter, but that show really, if nothing else, that show proved that two gay men can have a relationship that lasts just as long, if not longer, than some heterosexual relationships I know I can actually point to, especially when you get things like, oh yeah, Especially when you get things like, oh, we got married 24 hours after meeting. I love Vegas. That's not going to hurt the, what they call the sanctity of marriage? Come on. I know I keep saying I'm not, I'm not trying to get political, and I know I keep going back to political stuff, but honestly, but my God, it's pervasive. You cannot get away from it. Because it's part of our everyday existence. We've got to acknowledge the, if you'll pardon the pun, the elephant in the room, especially when it's groping little kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you, Edelstein. Yeah, like he knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's Epstein. It's not Edelstein, it's Epstein. And his fun-filled family excursions. Bring the kids, we'll all have a good time. The Copper Fang Lurkers. Is that anything like the cop Copper Tone Singers? <laughs> I don't know if they actually had those, but it, that would have been funny as hell. <laughs> the Copper Tone Singers. Whoa, hello. Seventy-seven. Ah. Uh, I've got seventy-seven down. I've got twenty-four to go. And I get, well, I gotta find him. I think the way to find him is to go down around. I'm gonna hide in here for a minute. Safe space. <laughs> yeah, I've only got a, I've only got a 50 pound friggin', friggin two handed uh, battle axe. Well, bone axe, I guess you'd call it. Looks more like a locker bar axe, but those are cool. Yeah, anybody wondering what a locker bar axe looks like? Think Harry Potter and the. Uh, and the time turner. It's what, the guy, it's what the executioner McNair had uh, to kill Buckbeak. Wow, I just showed what a geek I am. <laughs> yes, I'm a pot, uh, potter head. And something dinged. <laughs> I've got dinging. I've got ringing on my phone. Take that! Oh, I missed. Take that! <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm reminded of uh, John Biner in Transylvania 6 5000. Take that! Take it again! Take it again! I'm sorry, it was the first time I ever saw Carol Kane, and back then she was kind of she was kind of nummy. Somebody tell Carol Kane that. <laughs> yeah, I used to think you were kind of cute. <laughs> Chances are she won't even remember that movie anyway. <laughs> Transylvania what now? <laughs> oh god, now I gotta curse you and you're not. <laughs> you're not on the Adams family. Come on. How dare you bring up movies I don't like to I don't like to remember. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she well actually I mean she was also in a movie called Pandemonium, which was before it was titled Saturday, uh was it Sunday the twelfth. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Thursday the twelfth. Before that, it was uh, entitled Cheerleader Camp, and then it was just sad. <laughs> it was kind of a sad movie, considering some of the some of the actors. Uh, Tommy, um, 
uh, uh, Yo-Yo Man himself, Tommy Smothers, was in it playing a, Can a Royal Canadian Mountie. Wow. Yeah, I do respect the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, but my God, somebody needs to tell them that you know that outfit really not good. <laughs> I don't care who you are, but a lot of people, especially the older people, are going to associate with the, uh, with the, 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 I will wear nine calling <laughs> Wayne and Wanda there. Unless, of course, you didn't grow up on the Muppets. So, uh, I alluded to it earlier. Uh, I did get to see the new Godzilla movie. And I, I liked it. I really liked it. The only, per the only thing that I would have changed was uh, somebody should have been arrested for something that went on. I'm not going to give away spoilers because that's a dick move. But in my opinion, part of the part of the story, in part of the storyline, somebody should have got arrested. But I like the I like the, the I like the Easter eggs. A lot of references to the old Toho movies. Um, go see it. If, if you haven't seen, even if you haven't seen the first one, even if you haven't seen the first one, you can you can still keep up with the storyline. You can still enjoy it on, on on a whole lot of levels. And if you're from New England like me, the Boston references are cool, especially when I can pick out buildings. Oh, sorry, I did get, I, I gave away a spoiler. Spoiler alert, part of it takes place in Boston. Which, you know, I kind of thought we got, I kind of thought we got a little screwed over on that, considering it took place in Boston. I kind of wanted to hear the Godzilla roar with the New England twang. Ah, y'all. Ah. <laughs> it wouldn't be R, it would be ah. Because, you know, New England, we drop our R's. Or they drop their R's. Because I'm from Alabama. <laughs> That's a running gag in this state. Even you could have lived here your entire life, died at a hundred. But if you were, you know, it doesn't matter. Even if you had, you know, two days in another state from your from the moment of birth, you're not from Maine. You're a Flatlander. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I'd rather be called that than, than, you know, I'd rather be called that right now than Alabama. They're going to run Roy Moore again. <laughs> oh. Come here. Whoop. Thank you. Roy Moore. <laughs> yeah, you know what Roy Moore said after the last election? I feel like a kid again. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Erase, erase. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm in ZFD. That zero distributed. I have the card. It's in my wallet. It hasn't coming out because I'm not giving it. <laughs> my job right now is to run around and kill things. You're kidding me. <laughs> Came down all this way when I had to all I had to do was just go across. Fill up the screen. Not yet. Oh, I guess he couldn't block that one. Ping 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 ping. And I don't even have the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> I wonder if that, uh, if you know, one of the updates will include that freaking Greaves that they call the Infinity Gauntlets. I mean, like I said, they have Zool. They have a lot of pop culture references in this game. In this game, when it comes to naming monsters, and I absolutely adore that. It's hilarious. I'm returning to town. <laughs> Ah, uh, whoo! Uh, 
Sure, let's see what we've got. What did we pick up? Not a whole lot. Nothing very useful. So let's go sell it. Hey, kid. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Sling glyph. Is anything like the sling blade? No, you don't know. Don't know any good little boy. <laughs> yes, I made a sling blade reference. What do you want? Hmm. Yep. My imprint fried taters too. getting tired um well let's take a look and see what else we got to do here this is what I'm at now I gotta finish these and that's it and level one seasonal cubist extract a legendary power that's still got to do that um and then there's this one where I've already got three exclusive this reforge weapon property to a socket oh, that's gonna be fun key wardens yeah What's this one? Kill Zoltan Cool at 70 on Torment 2 difficulty or higher. Wow. Siege Break. Oh, gee. Torment 4. Yeah, this ought to be easy. 20 solo. Yada, yada, yada. And jewel, learn five jewel crafting recipes. Wow. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to have to call it a day because, as you can see, I'm having some problems with my hands so um i hope you enjoyed it i hope you could get beyond the political references and the cheap plugs and i hope you had a good time uh don't forget to share this with anybody and everybody if you want uh and uh, if you like it subscribe donate whatever blah 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 blah. you know the whole drill when everybody's trying to get things from you so uh good night have a pleasant tomorrow if you feel like it and if not at least try not to screw people over uh good night